In 2022, EVN is celebrating its 100th anniversary. 100 years of change, 100 years of innovation. EVN, with its strategy 2030, is very well positioned to drive this change further. We will be an enabler of our energy future. If we discuss EVN's development over the last year, the first thing I want to mention is that we exited coal-fired production of electricity. We sold our minority stake at the Weizum power plant in Germany. The second thing I want to mention is that we were able to agree on a CO2 reduction path. Therefore, we had a process to give us science-based targets. On this basis, we have a very strong commitment to reduce CO2 over time. I think this is so important because it's good for our own people that they know what they are doing. It's very good that we can increase our investments on this basis. And I think it's also good for investors who are especially looking for energy companies who are able to have a certified CO2 reduction path. With our new strategy 2030, EVN is positioned itself as an enabler of energy future. Therefore, we will also increase our investments. We see a potential of around 500 million euros over the next years, which we can invest mainly into the grid, but also in the increasing of the renewable energy production and on the water business. Three quarters of these 500 million euros will go to the province of Lower Austria. So this is organic growth. On the basis of our strategy 2030, we will increase our installed renewable energy capacity from 400 on wind 750 and the target for photovoltaic will be around 300 megawatt. EVN today is the biggest user of biomass for district heating. We see here an enormous potential in the transformation of the heating sector further on. Therefore, we will increase our investments in district heating on the basis of biomass usage. At the beginning of February, the HM of EVN Group raised the dividend from 49 cent to 52 cent per share. This is the floor for the future which we are aiming for.